Yeah, I guess it I regret. Try to make it right, but all my homies left me. My brother gone, how can I get over that? Wake up every day, I truly know I'm blessed, yeah Cause they don't know what I done faced DC understood my fate I was born and born straight So I'm striving to be great But my OG was Hey, what's up you guys? It's Junior Mommy And I'm back with another video So as you can tell from this title This video is just gonna be a little tips From Junior Mommy, of course On how to deal with insecurities Before we get into my video Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I also want to do a breathing exercise. Quick 10 seconds before I get into my video, so. So the first tip I wanted to give you guys was don't compare yourself to others. Um, I want to start off by saying that because like social media, all types of social medias, and then like friends, rise or family member wise. Um, so, what I mean by social media wise is like what you see on social media. You want to be these people. You want to look like these people. You want to dress like these people. Don't be like that. Be yourself. And like far as family members wise, you like how they dress or you like how they talk or you, you like how they carry yourself. Figure out everything that has to do with you and do you. You don't have to be like nobody. Like, because everybody got. They own ways, they own ways of how they do things, they own ways how they carry themselves, and that's probably not really even them. They probably just just doing that when they come around or just trying to fit in. Um, me personally, I've never been the type to fit in or try to fit in. I've always been different. Um, I've always been the type to not to react to what people say about me or people judge me or whatever the case may be because it don't bother me but yeah just be yourself don't i mean it's it's all for a purpose it's social media they have to look this way i'm pretty sure in real life that they're not like that so don't try to be like them because what what's your point of trying to be like them like what are you getting out of that nothing um, another thing would be just to be honest with yourself, like, um, I say that like into regards of if you was in a one parent household and your dad or your mom always, you know, um, had talks with you, encouraged you, um, did their best for you, but you still feel like that wasn't good enough. Like when you when you doing that, like, when you dealing with that, being honest with yourself, like, always remember, like, what they told you, like, you can't go wrong with that, like, just be honest with yourself, don't lie to yourself, um, follow your first man, go with your first man, just be honest with yourself. Um, another thing would be, like, um, we all have them days where we just want to be sad, depressed, mad just want to give up don't feel like that like don't put yourself down instead of putting yourself down think of the positive things and if you gotta go and look in the mirror and say these positive things to yourself every day then do that like try to get your mind to open up more into the positive side like because life is already hard and what we go through in life that's enough like so Putting yourself down won't make you feel any better or it won't get you nowhere. It'll have you, like, more depressed than you already is. So, definitely, like, put yourself up. Like, don't put yourself down, especially if that's the type of environment that you be around. No, nah, it's definitely time for a change. It's definitely time to level up. It's definitely time to do something different. Feel different, think different, be around a different atmosphere. Like, don't surround yourself with that no longer than you have to or if you already been did that for years or months or whatever the case may be like get out of that change that outgrow that um another thing would be is like to stand up for yourself stand up for yourself could be in multiple ways in different categories from anybody 
um, meeting new people, anybody. Like, if you always been that type of person, like, that don't know when somebody insulting you, and if they do insult you, you don't say nothing. Like, it's, it's literally time to stand up for yourself. Like, you don't have to overdo it. You don't have to get mad. But, like, just stand up for yourself and let them know how you feel. Relationship, family-wise, friend-wise, like I just said, mean new people wise, like stand up for yourself. If you haven't did it before and you start to do it, it's gonna feel real good, you guys. It's gonna feel amazing, like, cause I used to be one of those people. Um, definitely in grammar school, definitely in high school. I was the type of person um to let people, you know, talk about me, but I just walk off. I wouldn't cry or anything like that, but like. Eventually, I got tired of it and I started standing up for myself because people want to be the scene of attention. They like attention, and I only like the attention on me when I put it on me, not when somebody else does. So, definitely stand up for yourself, brother, sister, whoever. Like, it is, it, it is nothing wrong with standing up for yourself. So, I always remember that. And, like, if you made a mistake or it's something that's been bothering you or you did something wrong, like own up to it, talk to God and let it go. Don't hold on to it. Don't feel bad. Or if you do feel bad, feel bad and just let it go. Feel bad for that moment. Think all, you know, think about it on that same day and then just let it go. Like, it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's going to weigh you down. And you're going to keep thinking about it. So just let that go. Let it go, cause it's not worth holding on to. Um, another thing would be is to. Okay, another thing would be to like okay, so our insecurities. Some of my insecurities were, um, the dark spots under my eyes, my teeth, my head, um, my feet. My stomach after having kids, um, my hair, like, those were some of, these were some of my insecurities, but like I said, I've opened my mind up to more. I started being positive. I started up top of myself. I started encouraging myself more, and I've been feeling better, but, like, I used to always complain about those things instead of changing them, so... I decided to change all of that. And I also decided to change, like, how I think about things, how I think about me, like, how I want to dress, like, all that. All that plays a part in it. I just changed my atmosphere also, and I also just changed my mind. And it felt so much better, like, it felt so much better. Like, every year that you turn another age, you want to do something different. You want to definitely level up from where you already been, and you definitely want to you want to grow and you want to succeed more. Like, like what I mean by that is like, okay, eighteen, you on your own, so you really don't you really know a lot, but you still don't understand a lot of things. It's so much to this world that you have to learn, besides school wise. Um, Besides, like, only your own business-wise, it's, like, it's so much more. You have to learn about people, places, things, products, like, everything. Like, so you definitely want to, like, every year you turn another age, you want to level up. You want to you wanna get more knowledge. You want to be smarter. You want to save more money. You want to stop doing the things that you felt like um, was a, that was a problem to you. You want to fix some things. You want to change some things. Like, do it. Um, and once you do, just continue to do it. And you will see your own growth. You can, you can even write these things down. Um, and you will see a difference. Like, you will you'll definitely see a difference. Because, like I just said, you guys, I was, I was definitely like that. Like, I wanted to see a difference. I wanted to see a change. I wanted to be a better me. So... Um, some things that I changed about myself would be like um, not to judge people um, to actually listen to people 
listen. And if it's something that I don't know, ask. Definitely the stand up, stand up for myself, no matter what. Friends, family, spouse, whoever. Teachers, whoever. Stand up for myself. Um, Love myself more. Embrace my beauty. Um, listen to myself. Go with my gut feeling. Definitely go with my heart. Um, work. I was working on my attitude. I feel like I adjusted that a lot. Um, understanding people and their motives. I definitely feel like I grew on that level. Um, understanding my goals, like. A goal that I wanted was my own clothing line. Understanding that, reading books about that, asking questions about that, like that's always been something that I wanted to achieve. Um, it's a lot of more other things that I want to achieve, but I'm reading up on that. I'm asking questions about that. You know, I'm, I'm discovering more things about that. I'm discovering more things about myself. Like self love is the best love, you guys. So definitely don't you ever forget. And also, the surprise that I wanted to show you guys is here. Forever Young. Forever Young. Yes, this is a half shirt. I'm currently wearing a medium. I will be stocking these from small to 2X. Again, this is Forever Young. This is my logo. Yes, like I was just telling you guys, I've always wanted to start a clothing line. So i am waiting on my shipment so you guys definitely stay tuned i'm going to start small and work my way up but um drop a comment down below of what you guys think um it's definitely fitted fits well um it's scratchy and i like the material and as you guys can see the logo it looks very good okay very good and once again, um, I'm going to start off with one color and see how that goes. But I will be stocking these, so stay tuned. They they are on the way. Um, they will be from small to 2X once again. And this is definitely my logo, and this is what my clothing line is going to consist of. 